Good morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Happy Monday. Well, it certainly is an interesting day. The first day in more than a week that we've had to deal with clouds. First time this month. In fact, I think it's been an overcast day and it's breezy. It's it's certainly warm though for this time of year. 63 degrees. Here it is just a few minutes before nine o'clock on this Monday morning. Uh, 63 with gusts at times reaching 30 miles per hour on our uh, view as we look to the west with our quality group camera from CC Heights. We'll have the clouds all day with a chance of light rain. Uh, the rain chances will increase the afternoon and especially heading into the afternoon. And by evening, we even see a chance of thunder as a cold front comes in. Out of that front today, a breezy, warm day, a lot of clouds and some rain behind that front. It's going to be a blustery, cold Tuesday with a chance of maybe a little bit of ice, maybe even some snow uh, heading into the afternoon. But today, spotty showers and periods of rain for the afternoon. By the time we get to about uh, uh, 6 o'clock, a chance of thunderstorms also in that weather picture. We'll have a chance of storms uh, for a few hours this evening before that cold front comes in. Today, winds out of the south and then southwest uh, 15, gusting to around 35 miles per hour. Sunset at 450 this afternoon. Gray skies right now. So far, no rain. We haven't had any rain so far in the month of November. It's been a long time since we've had measurable rainfall. South winds 20 miles per hour. Air pressure falling 29.85 inches of mercury, 2.59. So a fair amount of humidity in the atmosphere today as well. Uh, 63 in Rochester, uh, 63 degrees in Mason City. And 66 in La Crosse. From here, we will we'll work up the ladders to a couple of degrees, level off around 68, 69 degrees today. There's that the cold front approaching, triggering those showers and thunderstorms. And that storm system moves out of the east. Behind it, we'll have a chance, as you'll see on future track, uh, for a variety of precipitation type. Spotty, brief light showers, more widespread rain in the afternoon. And by evening, here's that thunder, that cold front coming in, the wash, the, the cold front. Winds behind the front now, turning to the northwest late in the evening. Uh, tonight, periods of rain, then tomorrow morning to start the day. A chance of a little bit of windstream extra a couple of times. The pink stuff there. Chance of some freezing rain uh, as temperatures flirt with the freezing mark. It's still, the ground has gotten pretty warm in the last week, but still a possibility of ice, icy spots in some of those paved areas. And uh, eventually, as we go to the evening, a little snow mixes in. That may yield a very minor coat of accumulation on uh, grassy spots, rooftops, things like that, heading into the evening hours. Uh, by, by late tomorrow night, sky has been to clear off of a cold, clear night, then some sunshine on Wednesday with high temperatures in the low 40s. So for today, we need warm, light showers, especially for the afternoon. 68 in Rochester, 70 Mesa City. Winds out of the south at times gusting to 35 miles per hour. Uh, for tonight, uh, light rain, some thunder as well in the evening. Then late in the night, temperatures drop off behind that cold front. Winds pick up for the northwest, dropping around 33. Storms in the evening, then just periods of cold November rain. And then tomorrow, uh, only in the 30s, blustery and cold, a mixture uh, of uh, perhaps a little bit of rain and maybe even a spot or two of freezing rain late in the uh, mid to late morning. Afternoon features some snow developing after about 3 or 4 o'clock. 35 northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Snowfall amounts for Tuesday less than an inch. In fact, here in Rochester, less than half an inch. But to the west, we might see as much as an inch in that strip of counties there, well northwest to Dodge Center and Red Wing. So a couple spots getting minor accumulation tomorrow. Uh, out for the look at the change temperatures, 60s, then 30s and 40s in the coming days with some sunshine by Wednesday. Seven day forecast, uh, we have spotty showers again on Thursday. And then rain on Saturday it may mix with a couple of wet snowflakes, but that system not necessarily yielding any uh, any measurable snowfall. Temperatures, though, the weekend do look a little better, but we recover after kind of a chilly stretch in the, in the midweek to the mid 40s, then even low 50s next week. I think we'll be flirting with 50 for a few days with some sunshine. So it does get better after this initial wave of cold air uh, for the middle part of the week. But uh, so far, just tomorrow, maybe a very minor coating of snow possible late in the afternoon, and that'll melt. As you see there in the coming days, it'll be above freezing, but it's going to be definitely feeling colder as we move along this week, not nearly as warm as today. And incidentally, we've had 70s six days in a row before today. No record highs because temperatures have been just a degree to two degrees colder than that record, and that is the way we've had it. I guess you know, you know. Well, I guess we'll take what we can get. And it wasn't, you know, it, it was certainly memorable in that record setting. They have a record low, uh, warm low temperature though. Saturday morning, 54 was the the morning low, which is incredibly warm for this time of year. That was a record, but no record high temperatures. In the meantime, uh, yeah, stay uh, dry today and have a great Monday.